Hey guys, this video is two years in coming. We made the infamous Lars balloon arch and you loved it. It is by far the most well viewed, the house that Lars built post of all time. You make it for your bridal showers, your baby showers, your birthday parties. Thank you for sharing it to our hashtag Lars makes and Lars balloons. Uh, I still get a ton of questions about it and I thought that a video might be better to show you exactly how to do it so that we can learn the process as we make it. So stay tuned, we are gonna show you how to make it today. To get started on our balloon arch, we will need the following materials. Chicken wire. Chicken wire is your best friend on this project. We will use it to create the shape of the balloon arch glue gun, low temperature glue gun. This is essential. You cannot do a high temperature glue gun. Get like the 399 low temperature glue gun at the craft store. Nails and hammer for depending on where you're putting it. If you're putting it into a wall and you can hammer, that's always great. If not, command hooks are your new best friend. Again, you have several new friends here. Balloon pump. Oh, you guys, so many. Here's another best friend. Never blow up a balloon again. You want a balloon pump. Life-changing. Several different types of tapes. Clear shipping tape, duct tape, and a heavy-duty Gorilla Tape. This will take off paint off your walls, but it will hold everything in place. Balloons. With the balloon arch, you need several balloons. Pick your color palette. This is the fun part. Go to the store, pick out what color palette you're working with. We're working with a pink, white, and the dab of mint in our color palette today. Just choosing one color is even really beautiful. So have fun with that part. And the amount of balloons you use, well, it depends on where you're using it, how big the space is. Uh, for the big balloon arch I created, I, I used a lot of balloons, about $170 worth of balloons. So that, that's more of an investment, but for the right purpose, it, it's perfect. Wire cutters and lastly, fishing line. So let's start making. I like to begin every project I do with a quick sketch. That way, as I work, I have an idea of the direction I'm going, and those who are helping can consult it as well. Next, begin building the frame of the balloon arch by adding in nails or gentler command hooks to the walls. With my space, I'm not super concerned about nail holes, but that choice is up to you. Again, depending on what type of wall you have, you can secure duct tape to the wall or twine or fishing line to hold the chicken wire in place. Make balloon clusters by grouping a few different sizes of balloons together and attaching them with tape clusters or your low temperature glue gun. I use a tape tail technique to apply the balloon clusters onto the chicken wire frame. First, cut a piece of tape, I'm using shipping tape, about 10 inches long. Then cut a smaller piece of tape about 2 inches long and apply it to the bottom of the balloon. You'll insert the tail into the hole of the chicken wire and attach it to itself. Do this with each cluster of balloons. Now you can add your balloon clusters throughout the chicken wire frame. It's always helpful to have someone create clusters, someone hand them over, and someone insert them onto the frame. You can fill in smaller holes with smaller balloons and a glue gun or tape. Lastly, finish off your gorgeous balloon arch with some optional foliage from your yard, some faux florals or fresh florals. This will give it an extra special feeling for your extra special event. And voila, you've got a gorgeous and unique balloon arch for your event. 
Thanks for watching this balloon arch tutorial. If you have any additional questions, please ask them in the comment section. And if you make your own balloon arch, please add it to the tag Lars Balloons. Subscribe to the Lars YouTube channel for more tutorial videos. And as always, visit www.thehouseatlarsbuilt.com for hundreds of craft tutorials.